Down here you may have noticed the surface tools in the voxel tab. Now they are very similar to the voxel tools up here in the top left hand corner. The difference being is that the surface tools will only modify the surface. The voxel tools will modify the volume of the voxel object as well. So you'll find that the surface tools are a little more quicker at what they do. Also a couple of things to note. There are two unique tools down here, the gum and wrapper tools. I'll touch on those in just a minute, but the other tools, draw, pinch, shift, flatten, and clay, all have counterparts up here in the voxel tools. Draw is similar to airbrush, pinch is to vox pinch, shift is to vox follow, flatten is to scrape, and clay is to clay. Very simple. Now I'll demonstrate the gum tool. The gum tool is really great for getting nice details on a mesh. If you hover over it, you can view the uh, the information on it. It actually does mention it's the fastest way to make skin, pores, and wrinkles, and that's definitely true. Now I'm going to increase the resolution of this object for the purpose of this demonstration it will look much better. Okay, so as you can see here, you know, it puts on a nice texture with this pin alpha over here. Let's increase the resolution one more time. This might take a moment here. Okay, now look. Much nicer. Now, if you increase the resolution even more, you'll get more finer details than, than what you see here. You can go quite detailed. Uh, there you go. Now, the rapid brush. This is another really good tool that you should definitely check out. This one's really good for what it does. It laying out shapes rapidly. That's that's what it does. Very quick tool. You can see here. It's a little uh, blocky, but you know. That's what it's for. Block it in stuff.